Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your pal Mega Snoop bringing you another fun video because we just made a video But we're making another video. Isn't it fun when we have a lot of videos to make? I love it and today's video I wanted to do a follow-up from the last video which wasn't even that long ago talking about the purge of Mega Snoops I thought it was a funny name. It wasn't necessarily a purge uh, Now that I look back at it It was really just like one or two tunes that got affected by this and then the inability to uh, To make any new tunes with the name Mega Snoop, but let me let me tell the story real quick in case you for some reason didn't watch the last video so the last video I was talking about how something happened all at once where like one of my friends lost the name mega snoop on one of his tunes that he doesn't even play and at the same time from that point forward anyone who tried to make a tune named mega snoop was denied and they were given the reason because they didn't want people to impersonate celebrities that was the reasoning that they gave and so since then I uploaded that video and within the same day no joke they already kind of turned that around and fixed it where you can now make a tune named mega snoop if you want and which is great news especially for me and my community because we love doing stupid stuff like that all the time i think since then there's been at least two or three tunes that have gotten the name mega snoop in them that have been following me around in stream and it's been a grand old time you know it's a lot of fun to see these different concoctions and uh, of these weird tunes that people come up with just for the fun of it. So I wanted to give a big shout out to the Corporate Clash staff for not only listening to the community, but actually acting so quick like they did. It's something we're genuinely not used to in the Toontown community. I've been so used to making a video about a different thought and or opinion I had about a specific feature or bug that's in the game. Um, that just kind of goes months upon months even years without even being realized This is very prominent in TTR where I talked about hey Can we lower the racing and golf requirement trophies and they finally got around to it four years later looking at it I remember the one video that I made that I was all like this is kind of my last-ditch effort to see if TTR will listen to me I uploaded a video September 9th 2019 where I just reiterated everything I wanted changed with the game that I feel would really help the game grow and, and be in a better place and it took them two years to even change one of those things. So hopefully they're on the right track but it genuinely took that long. So seriously shout out to Corporate Clash for literally doing something. Like it, you think it's the bare minimum but the fact that they're on it so quick they didn't have to make some sort of like poofy announcement they just saw what needed to be changed and did it. You gotta hand it to this team for what they're doing, and it makes me really confident in the future of this game going forward. Not just with content, but when it comes to the little things. The things that affect their player base, their content creators, um, their day-to-day -day players, when it comes to small features or anything like that. So with that being said, I guess I'll just wrap this up with saying thank you for listening to us, and maybe I'll even do a little funny where we'll do a little like Mega Snoop raid in Toontown Central one of these days, where I'll just be like, everybody let's make a Mega Snoop and run around Toontown Central and be dumb. <laughs> that sounds like it could be fun. But otherwise, I did want to just get a follow-up to this, because just making a small tweet, I feel like explaining what happened wasn't going to be enough to really reach the masses and let everybody know that there was a follow-up to this and that it was resolved and so quickly. I did want to make a full-on video to let you guys know how delicately this was handled and how quickly action was taken and I do appreciate not only the Clash for doing that, but for you guys for voicing your opinions and letting them know how you guys felt about the situation. Toontown is a community-driven game, and it is the job of the community to let them know what needs to be changed, what needs to be added, what isn't good for the game. And I really do like the kind of synergy that this community has with this game. But that's going to be it from me. Thank you for just taking a short time to listen to this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Stay awesome. God bless. Peace out. I am hungry.